When it comes to making a career choice and earning money or success, a lot of us are thinking employment or getting a job. On the other hand, there are also quite a number who are thinking getting into a business or becoming an entrepreneur. Now, probably a lot of you have already a preference or may have already decided as to what you're going to get into in the future when it comes to, you know, making a living or in pursuit of success or happiness. But here's the thing, guys. I want you to reconsider your choice. If you think you already made up your mind and you're already sure of that, well, please reconsider your choice. It is so important, guys, because you only got one shot in this life. So might as well your stay here on earth is gonna be worth it by making the right decision hi guys my name is mil patrick aswero from wealthy patty and in today's video let's gonna talk about the pros and cons both in business and employment and i'm gonna give you my personal recommendation as well to help you out with your decision so make sure you stick at the end of the video now the first thing that we're gonna look at into guys is in terms of potential of income or potential in earnings so when we talk about potential what we're considering here is the long-term game so in terms of potential guys business obviously has the huge advantage over employment because in business your potential of earning money is almost infinite you can earn up to five figures six figures or even billions I would say and I don't even have to explain this. I mean, it's already obvious for millionaires and billionaires today or those who have built huge wealth. All of them owned a business. None of them are employed, all right? Because they're the one who's providing employment. But the challenging part in business in this area is when you are just starting out. When you are just starting out, your potential of earning immediate money or getting immediate result is quite unlikely. The start is always the hardest, especially in business. You might get starved and you might definitely in debt because your earnings depends on your sales. It's not a job that you have a fixed and monthly salary. On top of that, guys, in business, in the beginning, you have to keep reinvesting, okay, to make it sustainable and to make it profitable. And you can't just expect it to grow in just a year or within two years time. As a matter of fact, it may take up to 10 to 20 years of consistent hard work and investment for your business will probably take off. For example, guys, one of the biggest companies today, Alibaba. Jack Ma said they haven't even made a single dollar in revenue for the first three years in their business. I mean, that's crazy. You know what? Being able to work every single day without any sign of succeeding bro that takes a lot of patience and faith on the other hand guys in employment the advantage when it comes to potential of earning is you are surely get paid every single month that's right you have something to expect you will get your salary even if you're just starting out so right now let's talk about the cons in employment the downside of employment on this matter is your income is limited yes you have a monthly salary but your salary is fixed it won't increase regardless of the years you are working and regardless of how hard you work even if you've already worked for 30 long years in a company you get paid the same and if you don't enjoy the job you're gonna lose there's no exciting about the income because you're kind of already expecting the amount you're getting next month or next year or in the next 40 years even if you get promoted the cycle is gonna be the same so in a short-term basis guys employment has the advantage over in business because you can earn right away but in a long-term game business has the huge advantage especially in terms of when it comes to building fortune or financial success now if you're aiming a million dollar lifestyle if and only if all right in where you can have a few good vacation regularly you can travel with your family taking them to a nice restaurant a decent home if you want a million dollar lifestyle guys then definitely employment isn't the best choice for you now let's go to the second one in terms of requirements now in business guys there's not much requirements for you to get started as long as you have the product and as long as you know how to sell it then there's a market then you're good to go and you will just gonna learn along the way bunch of things to learn because it needs a continuous education and learning when you are in business i know it's a very very tough industry so yeah one of the advantages in business is even if you don't have a college degree 
or any formal education at all, you can start your own business. Now, in employment, guys, if you want a decent income, you have a bunch of requirements to go through. Basically, you need to complete a secondary education and you need to get a degree from a prestige school. And that takes a very, very long years of studying and investments. I mean, paying the school bills, tuition fee, etc., etc. And you have no choice. If you want to get employed fast after you graduated and if you want a decent position in a certain company, you have to at least graduate from a decent school and have to have good grades. Because real talk guys, employers have bias as to what university you went. If I'm the employer, for example, if there are two people applying for a certain position in my company, one graduated from Harvard University and one graduated from an unknown university, well, you guess, which do you think I should employ? Definitely I would pick the Harvard kid. I mean, that's reality. That's how reality works in the corporate world. The thing is, I want a competitive team in my company. That's why I would pick the Harvard kid over the other. Now let's go to the third one. Time freedom. Both in business and employment requires a lot of time. If you think you can enjoy your life, you won't. As long as you're working just for the sake of money, you may not have plenty of time with the things you love doing. Now, in employment, guys, it's unfortunate to say, but we will never have time freedom. Why? Basically, no work, no pay. And if you don't love your job, you're gonna lose. In business, the same is true. Don't get me wrong. If you are just starting out in your business, you have to render most of your time to make it grow. As a matter of fact, it may take longer hours of working than being employed. It takes more than eight hours every single day if you want to surely succeed in your business. However, time will come, your business will grow. Maybe five years, seven years, I don't know. Depends on you. As far as I'm concerned, KFC succeeded after 20 years later. And he failed a lot of times before he got his break. If your business is sustainable already, like you've established enough employees to help you run it in their sustainable system, even without your presence, it keeps going because of the people who works under your company. So instead of you using your time to build something to earn, in business guys, you use other people's time and skills to make money for you. So that's the good thing about owning a business. You're not only making money for yourself, but you're also providing jobs to people to help them feed their families and get their wants. Now, that's only a few of the many things both in employment and in business, guys. There's so much things I could talk about, but it'll take us too long. So probably now you kind of have an idea what to choose as to what's best for your life's fulfillment after we've gone through all of these comparisons. But here's the thing, guys. Listen, this is so important. There is actually no right decision and better choice among these two, which is business and employment. As a matter of fact, these are just two life's career choices. There are still many things you can be. I mean, you can be an NBA player, an online gamer in Dota or in Mobile Legends, and make millions of bucks, or you can be a YouTuber. My advice is do whatever the F you want, okay? Do the things that will make you happy and is fulfilling to the soul. And if you're enjoying being in a corporate world, even with a minimum wage, but you are happy, then stick with it. And if you also enjoy having millions of dollars in your bank account with your business, then stick with it. But if you're not happy, I mean, what's the meaning of doing all of that? Man, if you're choosing the things that will make you happy, regardless of what people have to say, but you're happy with it, you will never be defeated. Never. Success is a mindset. For example, in my case, objectively speaking, there are still many things that I'm going after that I want to have and I want to experience. But right now, guys, I am happy as fuck and I already considered myself successful. I feel fulfilled already and I don't have everything, but I'm happy and I'm still going for the things that I want, my goals, as long as I'm breathing and I will keep evolving and I hope you guys do the same. Again, guys, I just want to tell you that I believe in your dreams and I believe you'll achieve the things that truly makes you happy, whatever that version of success for you. So before we end this video, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you're enjoying our video so far, just click the subscribe button and also press the notification bell so you won't miss out anything. 
So that's it for today. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.